to my channel and welcome to week three of the Build Your Stash collaboration. So this week I'm showing you guys how to make these really pretty frames. I was inspired by Maggie Holmes, um, her new collection called Willow Lane. She has some pom-pom frame embellishments and I think they're really cute. I've never seen anything like that before. And I wanted to make them, but I don't own any pom-pom trim and I really didn't want to buy anything extra. So I just had to think outside the box and I came up with these. Um, I used the, the trims basically that I already had in my stash. And um, these were made, these three were made using the ruffled trim that I'm sure you guys have seen already um, from Hobby Lobby. So that's how I made these three. Okay, and this one was used made, um, made using a scallop metallic trim. This is a gold um, trim right here. And this one was made using the French trim. Okay, so even if you don't own pom-pom, a pom-pom trim, look through your stash. I'm sure you would definitely find some really cute trim that you can make some, um, some frames with, okay? So that's what I did with those. And I just wanted to show you what I did with one of them. Um, I made one of them into a shaker. And who does not love shakers? I love shakers, okay? So I just filled it with some sequin and some seed beads. And I don't know if you can see this wood veneer heart right here. This is some printed polka dot vellum paper. The polka dots are kind of subtle, but this is a printed polka dot vellum paper. And I just decorated it with uh, an embossed, a heat embossed vellum butterfly. I showed you guys how to do this last week. And um, a shine die cut. I got this from a swap and um, a die cut swan, an ephemera piece basically. Okay. So that's an idea. One of many. And um, yeah, let's just get, let's get started. So I don't own any dies to make frames. I don't own any frame dies. So I basically had to create my frame from scratch. And I will link the YouTube video that I used. I'll link that down below so you guys can um, use it and look at it yourselves, you know, for you guys that don't own a die. And if you do own a die, that's perfect. That'll cut down more than half of the time, um, cutting and measuring. So anyway, so this is, this, this is the frame that we're gonna use, okay? And I already kind of glued it earlier, but I pulled it off, so that's why it looks kind of ragged in the back, okay? So we are going to decorate this with the this trim right here. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a pink. We're gonna use this ruffle, this color ruffle, okay? So basically all we do, or all I do, um, is I kind of eye it and measure it how long I need to cut it. So since this is the perfect square, I'm gonna need to cut two of the same size. So basically I just eye it a little, a little bit and I just cut it a little longer than the, um, than the size of the square, okay? Just a little longer, like one eighth of an inch longer if even, okay? So basically I cut that twice. I cut two pieces. Okay, so here are our two pieces. So to make four, you see these two stitches right here? You're just gonna cut straight up the middle. And just cut carefully because you don't wanna cut these stitches because these stitches are actually gonna hold your ruffles in place. So when you cut, you know, just take your time and go straight up through the middle and that'll give you two perfect pieces. Okay, so we got two pieces for two sides and we need four, so we're gonna do the same thing with the other piece. Oh, just go straight up the middle. Okay, so now we have our four pieces. So after this, now all we have to do is glue it on and then we are done. So I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. Okay, and you don't want to glue all the way to the edge. You wanna go like toward the middle a little bit. So we're gonna start at one end and go all the way to oh, my net glue. Okay, so basically what I do, I curve one corner first, just slightly, and then I turn it and glue it down. Okay, let me get another. I gotta get another piece. 
Okay, so now that, that we're at the other, oh, I gotta finish school. Hold on one second. Okay, so we're gonna finish gluing the rest of this down. Okay, so when we get to, to this corner, we're going to kind of curve it. We're gonna turn it because I don't want these corners to be empty. I want them to kind of like overlap each other like this or else it would look like this if we stopped at each end. And I don't like that empty space right there. So I kind of curve it a little bit. So we're gonna put some glue down and we are going to curve the trim just like that. And we're gonna do that for all four sides. Okay, so we're gonna do our second side. We're gonna start at this corner. We're gonna curve and just glue down. And we're just gonna keep going around until we until we're done. Okay, there's our third side. I'm gonna start at one corner. Uh oh. And then we're gonna curve. Curve it like this. Okay. I hope I'm in frame because I'm not even paying attention to it. Okay, and then we're gonna do our last the same way. And again, it's preference. I mean, you don't have to curve it if you don't want to. It's just personal preference. Um, like I said, I just like for it to look like it's just, you know, going all the way around the frame. And I really do hope I'm in frame. Okay, so this is what we have, and we're done. This is it. Very, very simple, very easy. So I wanted to bring you guys a very simple and quick one this week. Um, like I said, just get creative with your trims, and um, you can do pretty much whatever, whatever. The sky is the limit. Okay, so I didn't make multiple sets this week. I just made this one set, and this is the set I will actually include in the giveaway. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but um, so this is the packaging. Um, I kind of, I really like the way I've been seeing the chip bags. Um, a lot of people have been making chip bags as, as packaging, and I would, this was actually inspired by that. I don't have a window. Um, instead, I just put a heart, a glittered heart right here. I got this from, um, I got this from a, a card that I received, and I just scored the lines at the bottom and the top. And I love the way it came out. So this is actually the way I am going to package these. So let's see. I didn't want to put it in plastic and only because I didn't want to put it in plastic and two, I don't have, you know, packet plastic big enough to fit the, the largest frame that I made. So I was like, let me just make like a chip bag inspired packaging. Okay, so that's gonna go in there like that. And we're just gonna close it with a clothespin. And I just added a flower on the clothespin. So this is how this one will be delivered. So I hope that was uh, simple enough for you guys. Um, I hope I explained it well enough. And um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. I thank you guys again for your support. I thank you guys for your very kind comments. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, you guys are very motivating and just, you, you guys are just awesome. So I thank you and um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I have two more weeks left. Um, the last Build Your Stash uh, collaboration date is on the 30th. And again, that is when I will announce the details for the giveaway, which will be announced on my Instagram. So I will put the information to my Instagram down below in the details section. So until next week, you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.